Hello everyone, I'm Polen and welcome to another anime figure unboxing and review. Today I'm unboxing Nendroid Ram, Nendroid number 732. This is a character from the anime ReZero, starting life in another world. This figure was produced by Good Smile Company, she was first released in July 2017 and she got a re-release in September 2020. So, as standard, on the front of the box is the Nendroid number, character name, a picture of the Nendroid and a window through which you can see the figure and some accessories. Here's one side of the box with two pictures and a small window. On the back of the box there are three pictures of the Nendroid and some information. Here's the other side of the box with two more pictures and another window. Here's the top of the box. And here's the bottom of the box. Now let's open the box and take out the figure. The interior of the box has this very light pink color and then Android number 732. As standard, there's an instruction in English and Japanese. So, here are all the parts that come with this Nendroid. There are Ram's hair pieces. As you can see, the purple bow is a separate piece that can rotate or be removed. Ram gets three faceplates. One with her standard expression. One with her smiling expression. And one with her shouting angry expression. Here's her torso piece and a skirt piece. Here's her hips piece with a pair of straight legs and a pair of bent legs, all on the neck joints. Ram gets a pair of shoulder pieces and a pair of straight arms, a pair of different shoulder pieces and a pair of bent arms, another different left shoulder piece and a different bent left arm, and a pair of lightly bent arms. On these the arms and shoulders can't be separated. And this slightly bent right arm has a non-removable flat open hand, the hand has a small hole on the inside to attach Ram's plate accessory. Ram gets a pair of open hands, an open flat left hand, a left hand for holding her potato accessory, a pair of holding hands, and a right hand holding her knife. Ram's accessories include a plate piece and a potato, Free wind magic effect parts. Support pieces for them are also included. And as standard, there's a base plate with a support piece and an extra neck joint. Now let's put her in some poses. Here's the first pose. In this one, Ram has her faceplate with her standard expression, a lightly bent right arm holding her plate accessory and a bent left arm with a flat open hand. The paint on this Nendroid is perfect, there are no paint mistakes, no paint errors or any paint transfer issues. Here's the next pose, in this one Ram has her faceplate with her smiling expression, a pair of lightly bent arms with flat open hands and a bent right leg. As always I have to complain a little about the legs, because they are on neck joints they have a big range of movement, 
but they look ugly and moving and posing them is annoying. That's why I always prefer ball joints. In this next pose, Ram is peeling a potato. She has again her faceplate with her standard expression, a pair of straight legs and a pair of bent arms. In her right hand she's holding a knife and in her left hand she's holding a potato. If you didn't know, all Nandroid pieces like shoulders, arms, hands and legs have markings indicating if a piece is left or right. And something unusual is that Ram, just like Nandroid Rem, has no markings on her straight and bent arms. I wonder why is that? If anyone has an answer, let me know in the comments. Here's another pose, in this one Ram is using her wind magic. She has a faceplate with her angry expression, straight arms with open hands, straight left leg forward and a bent right leg back to make her look like she's running. And all three wind magic effect parts on support pieces. These support pieces for the magic effect parts are very long but it is possible to make them shorter by removing the middle part of the support piece. If you look at the support piece in the front, you'll see I've made it shorter. And here's the last pose. In this one, Ram and Ram have bent arms and are holding hands. The other arms are straight with open hands, they both have faceplates with smiling expressions, and they both have one straight leg and one bent leg. I've already made a review of Nandroid Ram. If you're interested, I'm going to leave a link to it at the end of this video. Overall, I think that Ram is a very cute Nandroid, the paint is perfect, all the details look great, she has nice faceplates, she's got both straight and bent legs, a lot of alternative arm and hand pieces, and her accessories are good. It would be better if her legs were on ball joints instead of neck joints, but other than that I have nothing to complain about. I like this Nandroid a lot, and I can recommend this Nandroid to every ReZero fan. And that's my unboxing and review of Nandroid ROM from the anime ReZero starting life in another world. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you liked the video please give it a like, I am posting a new video every week so please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my anime figure unboxings and reviews. Also if you'd like to see more pictures of my figures and nandroids you can check my instagram, link in the description.